over the course of the last year and a half, Russia has become this central dominant issue in American politics. I'm curious how, how Russian government and how Russians see that. We absolutely sure that this is a part of domestic uh, political games which are you know, which your politicians are playing. Unfortunately, they choose Russia as like, I don't know, a demon. We have this obvious feeling and understanding. It's, it's both a feeling and understanding that it's a sort of uh, demonization of Russia in, because of different purposes. We are proposing communication and relationship and we are always refused and we are always demon, demonized within last years. You had the president yesterday tweeting about the fact that... That was your president. In I your wish, eyes, you had, you had, the, this is uh, a guy who was elected by Russia. Russia, but actually that was uh, uh, a person who was elected by I'm, American people. He's, he's the President of the United States, so in, in yesterday thanks he... Thanks God. And yesterday he sent a tweet. Did you say thank God? Yeah, thanks God. Why is that? Um, that he's American President. Why? <laughs> yeah, he... Why? I mean, you, you just expressed some, some gratitude to the Almighty for the fact that Donald Trump's President. I'm just curious why you say that. Uh, because do you admit the fact that he's an American president? Because we're talking so much in Russian, so-called involvement in your elections. And each time I'm very, very pleased to hear that somebody is admitting that President Trump is the president of United States of America. Right. The president seems to be saying that the level of hostility and tension right now is at Cold War levels. Just let us stop compare with Cold War period. Okay. There well, is there no use. Oh. Uh, we can just, uh, I think, uh, uh, agree together with this uh, description that the... Uh, things are tense. The, the, yes, things are tense. <laughs> things and, are tense. And it's not good at all. And it's very dangerous. It's um, very dangerous. If the United States launches airstrikes uh, on, on Syria and that's elected government right now, how do you imagine that will play out? If that happens in the next, in the coming days, Russia is prepared to do what in that circumstance? Russia will, will uh, protect its own people on the ground. If there are airstrikes and there are Russian casualties, Russia will do what? Russia will protect its own people on the ground. But retaliation is not impossible. I just answered your question, and I hope that that won't happen. So in the course of the time that President Trump ran for office and became president, until four days ago, he had never criticized Vladimir Putin publicly once. He's not only criticizing him now, he's saying these very harsh bellicose things. What do you think happened? He never Why criticized Putin? Why are you asking Putin? me? Well, I'll ask you what your interpretation is. It's right. not fair to ask me about that. Right. Uh, the American society was talking over all the situation yeah. with Trump, Russia, yeah. Clinton, and so on yeah. and so on for uh, more than one year. And now, when you have no answers, what what going on? You are asking us? Yes. Well, it's I'm, not fair. I'm asking you if, if you no. have a, if you have a theory about what's happening because it affects your country and you're. I in mean, the American ministry. experts and politicians right. have yeah. so many theories about Russia and Russian involvement. They should have some theory about what is going on in White House. So one of the things that President Trump tweeted: if Russia's goal was to create discord, disruption, and chaos in the United States, they succeeded beyond their wildest dreams. They are laughing their asses off in Moscow. That was the, that was what the president said. So I mean, I, you, I've only been in Moscow for a few days. Is President Putin laughing his ass off at the United States right now? No, I cannot. I cannot prove it. <laughs> I just prove it. <laughs> the president's view seems to be again not just in that tweet, but more broadly, the notion that Russia is enjoying watching Americans fighting with each other divided between rich and poor, divided between black and white, divided between Democrats and Republicans, that the more chaos there is in the United States, that that makes people, whether they laugh or not, no. that that is in your no. strategic interest, no. and you would like to see that. What we are trying to say, that America, United States of America, have lots of domestic problems right. that your administration should be focused on, mm. and Russia has nothing to do with it. Right. This is your domestic entire process. Yes. Please don't involve in our domestic uh, cases, in our domestic entire life. Just be focused on your life. You have so many problems, and let us us resolve our problems ourselves. I think that the I think that the conventional view in the West, however, is that your president has uh, has become more aggressive. Where 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 did you find uh, aggression from Russian Federation? Well, Just show me. I think I think the answer would be. Interference in the American election. Uh, to, uh, let I, us, let, let us, I mean, these let, are the things let, that the West let, would let's point go to. Correct? Stop step yeah. by step. Right. What about uh, American elections? How Russia did that? Well, 
uh, the, uh, the entire United States intelligence community believes that they. Uh, no, that no, Russia, no. How? How we did this? How? 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 Well, one way that you did it was to was to hack into the Democratic was National Committee. Was it one way? Or well, several? Well, several. There were several. Yeah, that's so what us, the intelligence community believes. So let us talk it over. Right? Let us talk it step by step. So one way is how we did it. One right? way is we. What did we do? <laughs> right. Okay. This would be take up most of our time to go through. The, oh, it's it. not a matter of time. I can talk. I can cancel all, all my meetings today. Let's let's be honest with each other. Let's talk it over. Okay. Come let's, on. Let's do it. Cancel all the meetings. We'll get. We'll bring a bottle of vodka please, here and we'll go. No, we we do not need vodka for that. Okay. We need vodka for right. other things. Please, please show me the evidence. I will say, Robert Mueller, who's our special prosecutor, issued a 37-page indictment that named 13 specific Russians who work at the Internet Research Agency, Great. for instance. So that seems this pretty document. That seems pretty documentary to me. This no? is it. Absolutely okay. not. Those are just names. What did they do? Well, it what, says what? that in the document. It says what they did. It, it does, you know, really, the, the, in, in the, a fair the, amount of detail. Problem it says is, those the things. problem is the document says exactly. it. It says the ways in which they broke the in, law, or at least Russia, it alleges the Russian broke government the law. Yeah. never said or never did something to cover people who were breaking the law. I was in St. Petersburg just last night and I was sitting across the table from a young Russian woman who worked in a building where she was surrounded by hundreds of people who worked 24 hours, seven days a week, not trying to destroy American information systems, but trying to infiltrate the American information systems. And that's a How? Russian by spreading fake news and propaganda. She was working at the Internet Research Agency, at that organization that against oh. whom the Mueller indictments uh -huh. were issued, yeah. where she worked with hundreds of people who were engaged in, I know this- So I mean, she's a crime. She, she, she was someone who was-, who was Do you have her name? She was an investigative journalist. No, come on. She, do you have her name? Yeah, you are talking gonna, to the crime. I'm, to, I'm saying to, to you, you- You are talking to a possible crime. Who- I'm who, asking you. Who, who were saying, who were telling you I'm that she is committing a crime. And I'm now asking I'm asking you, what should we do with this I'm, information? Give us the name. I know this may seem a little strange to you, but I'm a journalist. I'm not in the business of law enforcement. And I'm not a Russian, so none of those things are relevant to me. What's relevant to me is the question, a very simple question, which is, are there or are there not hundreds or thousands of Russian trolls sending fake news on to social media networks like Facebook and Twitter? Is that true or not? I have no idea about how thousands or hundred thousands of trolls who are trying to destroy American information right. system. 